Hi guys, this case is about Wirecard, an institutional failure. K Introduction One of the biggest corporate scandals in recent memory was the German payment processing firm Wirecard. The business, which was established in 1999, expanded quickly and eventually evolved to become one of Europe's biggest payment processors. In contrast, it was discovered in 2020 that Wirecard had used dishonest accounting techniques to inflate its revenues and profits by billions of euros. As a result, the business failed, its stock price fell, and CEO Marcus Braun was detained. Many people believe that the affair represents an institutional failure because various important players failed to recognize and stop the illegal activities at Wirecard. Several parties, including regulators, auditors, banks, and investors, are involved in this institutional failure. Serious concerns have been raised about the effectiveness of financial regulation and auditing and have highlighted the need for greater transparency and accountability in the financial sector. Development and its link to audit quality In terms of development, the Wirecard incident has brought to light several flaws in the institutional and legal systems that control financial reporting and auditing. Since the organization's financial statements were examined by one of the top auditing companies in the world, Ernst & Young, EY, which missed the fraud in the case, for instance, showed vulnerabilities in the auditing process. More regulatory control of the auditing sector has been demanded as a result of the scandal, along with changes to strengthen the independence and responsibility of auditors. The case has also sparked concerns about the necessity of stronger whistleblower protections as well as the significance of good corporate governance and transparency. Governmental Monitoring Government financial sector oversight has been under increased pressure as a result of the Wirecard affair, notably in Germany where the company was headquartered. The incident has shown gaps in the oversight and regulatory systems that made it possible for the fraud to happen and go unnoticed for so long. The absence of effective supervision by the German financial regulator, Bafin, was one of the primary problems with governmental oversight in the context of the Wirecard case. For numerous years, allegations of financial irregularities at Wirecard had been known to Bafin, but no action was taken. In fact, rather than the business itself, Boffin had started an inquiry into the journalists who had brought up concerns about Wirecard. There have been proposals for increased governmental oversight of the regulator itself as a result of Boffin's failure to identify and stop the fraud at Wirecard. Thanks for watching this video. For more case studies, please visit our website, thecasesolutions.com. Also, like and subscribe our channel, The Case Solutions.